Principal's Office and the Workforce Investment Board. I would like to introduce the CEO of our Chamber of Commerce, Tony Ionelli, to provide some remarks. Tony? Jeez, I thought for sure you'd fawn over me a little bit, but okay, I'll take it. But I, okay, there you go. Somebody, somebody know. Uh, first and foremost, I look at this crowd and unbelievable. I see business leaders and our county executives. I see my friends from the trades back there. We've had a great, you know, talk about unusual. This chamber has had a, a great, great relationship with the trades group and on many fronts uh, we see eye to eye. And uh, look, it's about uh, employment. It's about keeping people working with good, solid wages. It's important to all of us. My job, thankfully, and my honor is to introduce the Auditor General, Eugene D. Pasquale. And let me just say this very quickly. Number one, Mr. Auditor General, you have a phenomenal educational resume, uh, a master's from Pitt, and a law degree from Widener. Not bad stuff, so I'm pretty impressive. But also, he's an unbelievable athlete. And not only was he in high school and college, but he continues. He just ran. He's the only public official in the state to run the Spartan Race Trifecta, which is big stuff. And I got tired just Googling it, by the way. <laughs> and suffice it to say that I won't be running it this year. Uh, but that is phenomenal. And I think that just speaks to how tenacious you are. We see you everywhere. And I'm thankful that you are the person that watches the citizens of this Commonwealth dollars, because you do it in a phenomenal, aggressive way. What also interests me is it's not only with you just about cost-cutting, but you're looking. I think in the 21st century, we all agree, you've got to find new sources of income, and you're open to that. Uh, you've been open to a discussion relative to legalizing uh, recreational marijuana, at least how, what the impact, $200 million, the impact uh, that would be uh, on this commonwealth, so new sources of income. But I want to say in closing, I see you everywhere. I'm thankful that you're here today. You see the turnout. People like what you're doing. They like that you're around this Commonwealth more than, or as much and more than anyone that we see. And thankfully, you're our guy. Come on up. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Um, before I get going with the introductions of the panelists, uh, I, I do want to point out uh, my good friend. We got to tour the state together last year, John Brown. John is here as the Northampton executive, but uh, you know we we got to tour the state together and. And it is tough to do what we were doing when the presidential election is going. And it was tough for us to crack through and sort of getting our name ID up. But, John, I wanted to point out thank you for being here for the great work you do in Northampton. And specifically, one of the things that I want to point out is doing really groundbreaking work in prison reform in Northampton County. So I specifically want to commend you for that because that's an area that the state government, I think, even more needs to be examined on how we can get better savings and better utilization out of our prison system. So, John, please give John a round of applause. <laughs> Tom Muller here as well. Tom, good friend, doing a great job. I, I, I you know, I, so you're, I think, close to heading off to the sunset, is that <laughs> So, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's right, you're going to be here quick. That's right, you're here because you want Career Link to be working very well, too. So, Tom, again, I want to thank you for, for being here and for your great work that you've done. Uh, as county executive. Um, there are some other, um, I believe, um, people that are here, and I'm going to point them out periodically throughout the day, but Greg, certainly a great partner from uh, the Lehigh Valley AFL-CIO, uh, good friend from the very beginning, and I thank you for the work, and, and you know, uh, and you've given me some good audit tips throughout, throughout my tenure as well, so thank you for doing that. Um, before I introduce the panel, uh, I, I want to say we're, what is going on here, sort of the bigger picture. Um, last year, um, I was running for re-election, and I was at the Labor Day Parade in Pittsburgh. And at that parade, um, a guy by the name of Kenny Broadbent, who is the head of the local steam fitters out there, um, told me that they were building the, uh, the new natural gas plant, and that they were needing to hire 500 welders, and that they did not have enough people to fill those jobs. And that sort of struck me as, well, you know, here we want, you know, people to, you know, look, well, some of us have put a lot of money into college, some of us have paid for our kids to go to college, and, you know, and then here we are in a situation where somebody could, without even a college degree, get a highly skilled technical job, and if they're willing to do even the overtime, could make over $100,000 a year for at least five years 
with good pension, health care benefits, etc. And they couldn't even fill the jobs. So that led me to sort of where what we've been doing on part of this tour on uh, job training and job creation um, over the last several months. That is, as Auditor General, you look, yeah, we're, our job is to try to find ways. You know, we've done that with some of our school district audits, and et cetera. But it's also, I think, about trying to make government programs run more effectively. So what we're here today is we're doing, I've been doing this all over the state, and we're going to have a couple more of these, but the Lehigh Valley being such a critical area of the state, is really engaging in a discussion of some of the things the state can be doing that it isn't doing, some of the things that it is doing that can be doing better, and some of the things that, quite frankly, are not the job of the state, but we need to do a better job of engaging, engaging our private sector partners. And this all leads into the audit that we'll be kicking off into the fall, which is the state spends a lot of money on quote-unquote job training programs. And my sense is that some of them work and some of them maybe don't work and some of them could be retooled to be more effective for the economy of the future. And so all of these town halls that we're having all over the state, in a sense, are to lead into that audit. We're then going to be doing concurrent audits with several state agencies because it doesn't just run out of community and economic development. A piece of this is a labor and industry, et cetera. So we're going to be using this information all to give us a head of steam heading into that audit that will start in fall. And the goal of that audit is to find out exactly how effective our job training programs are and our retraining programs are so that everyone that wants a job, we can find a way to make sure that they get matched with the right skills for the jobs of the future. So that's the bigger picture of what we're trying to do here. And so with that, I want to introduce the panelists that we have here. Um, Michelle Griffin-Young is the Executive Vice President um, of the Greater Lehigh Valley Chamber of Commerce. Dr. Thomas Meyer is the Vice President of Academic Services at the Lehigh Carbon Community College. Paul Anthony is the Business Manager of the IBW 375. Nancy Dishnott is the Executive Director of the Lehigh Valley Workforce Development Board. Um, R. Chad Paul is the President and CEO of the Ben Franklin Technology Partners. And Lisa Williams is the Director of Training for SEIU Healthcare. And I do want to thank Tony for that warm introduction. Um, you know, obviously it probably helped you on pronouncing my last name that you were certainly of the same ethnicity as well. The, my son was playing a baseball game in a, um, in a rural part of the state about a week and a half ago. He comes up the bat and the, the, loud, the guy on the loudspeaker and you could just see He's getting ready to get in, and the, and the guy goes, and it's Ben, D, D, and my son looks back, and he goes, D Pasquale, D Pasquale, and then he got in, and got in, and then he lined out to the second base, and did any sports. Um, so with that, each panelist will start, we'll start from um, your left, uh, move over, but my right will move over to left. Everyone get one minute. Uh, to just talk about a little bit about what you do, some of your goals with this, and then we'll, you know we're really going to open up for uh, you know some give and take here, and then we're going to have a Q and A with the audience. So with that, uh, we want to start here and move, move on. on that.